The ThinkStation P900 workstation is Lenovo's top-of-the-line workstation, specifically designed for the most demanding post-production, 4K video editing, and 3D animation challenges. Lenovo is already well known for their mobile computers, and in the P900, Lenovo has created one of the most powerful heavy-duty workstations on the market today. The P900 is the largest in Lenovo's workstation family, yet its design is sleek and stylish, which makes it an attractive addition to any studio. On the front of the P900 is a power button, headphone jack, 9-in-1 media card reader, as well as four high-speed USB 3.0 ports. There's also an innovative flex module with a DVD multi-writer. You can add other components to the module, such as an ultra-slim optical drive, 29-in-1 media card reader, as well as other options. On the back of the machine, there's the power, PCI connections, audio jacks, legacy PS2 and COM ports, two Ethernet ports, four more USB 3.0 ports, four USB 2.0 ports, two Display ports, and two DVI ports. There's a Lenovo logo on the upper right corner of the right side of the P900. The left side of the workstation also has a Lenovo logo, as well as a lockable handle to access the interior of the machine. On the inside face of the side door is a handy diagram that describes the internal layout of the workstation. The interior of the P900 features a clean and well-organized modular design. A baffle with a new tri-channel cooling system directs airflow from the fans to help keep things cool during operation. Red touch points help guide your hands to components that can be easily removed without the need of tools. The cooling fans are easily removed and replaced like this. The 1300 watt power supply has a built-in self-test feature. Now all of the internal components of the machine are revealed the PCI slots, memory sockets, CPUs, and the capable NVIDIA K5200 GPU. The two Intel Xeon E5 2687WV3 processors each feature 10 cores and 20 threads running at 3.1 GHz and a 25 MB cache. That's 20 cores and 40 CPU threads, which delivers great performance for demanding rendering and post-production jobs. The P900 has 16 memory sockets with the capability to support up to 512 gigabytes of memory when using 32 gigabyte sticks of RAM. Open these for access to the PCI slots. Down near the bottom of the machine is the GPU, an NVIDIA Quadro K5200. This powerful GPU offers great performance for 3D modeling, GPU rendering and video editing with its 8GB of GDDR5 memory and 2304 CUDA cores. The K5200 provides two display ports and two DVI connections. Towards the front of the workstation are the hard drive bays which allow you to scale up to 11 drives internally. Onboard RAID is included with options for RAID 0, 1, 5 and 10. The ThinkStation P900 features newly designed flex drive trays that allow you to combine two drive sizes in a single tray. The flex trays can be configured to accept either a 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch drive or two 2.5 inch drives. The flex drive trays also connect to the system without the need for messy cables. Lenovo's Flex Solution also contains a motherboard connection that allows you to connect different kinds of drives to your system, such as SATA, SAS, PCIe, and M.2 as needed. Let's put back all the components, starting with the fans.
Next, we'll put in the power supply and the air baffle. Finally, we'll put the door back on. On the top of the chassis, two handles make it easier to move the P900 around. Cinebench is a popular benchmarking tool that is used to evaluate the performance of a computer's CPU and GPU. Cinebench is provided by Maxon, the creators of the popular 3D modeling and animation software Cinema 4D. First, we'll use Cinebench to check the processing power of the dual CPUs by rendering out a complex test scene that includes approximately 2,000 objects with more than 300,000 polygons. The test scene includes reflections, area lights, shadows, procedural shaders, anti-aliasing, and more. The higher the score, the better. The CPU test came in at 2,224. Let's compare that result with tests from other systems. As shown, the P900 score performed with flying colors compared to the other systems listed below it. More Cinebench Workstation CPU test results can be found online. Next, we'll run a test of the P900's GPU, in this case an NVIDIA K5200. For this, Cinebench uses a scene of a car chase that tests real-time performance of interactive lighting, rendering, shadows, textures, and other factors. Cinebench's GPU hardware test was a speedy 99.72 frames per second. Here's the K5200 compared to other video cards. You can check online for more Cinebench GPU scores. Lenovo's ThinkStation family of workstations also includes the ThinkStation P300 and the P500. Here is the P900 next to the entry-level P300, which I have also reviewed. To conclude, the Lenovo ThinkStation P900 is unquestionably a powerhouse of a machine. It's one of the most powerful workstations available today from the mainstream workstation manufacturers. Whether you need a workstation that has the raw power to crunch through serious rendering and visual effects challenges, a video editor or a colorist working in 4K resolution and beyond, in my opinion, the Lenovo ThinkStation P900 should be very high on your list of considerations. It's a great workstation. My name is Joe Herman. Thank you for watching. See you later.